And welcome back to What Culture Gaming. My name is Jules, and I am joined by the one and only three time world champion, <laughs> Simon Miller, here on the Doom Eternal stage. Si, how are you? I'm good. I'm going for my fourth world championship this year. Yeah. So obviously, I'm here to you know, work out my skills, do a little bit of testing, obviously, look at the competition. Yeah. And if anybody looks better than me, I'll just kill them. Now, this is the thing you are hosting Doom Eternal. I am, yeah. and, and what does that actually mean? Because, I mean, we're about to go in and play it ourselves, and there are some massive fans here. Like, it is Doom 2016. Was a hugely popular oh, man, game. Best game of the year. Cannot, genuinely. cannot wait to play this. Well, I mean, Bethesda decided they'd like to teach people how to Doom Slay, which is an official term now in the dictionary. How? Well, if you want to become a Doom Slayer, yeah, oh, you've right. got to learn to Doom Slay. So they reached out and said, Miller, you're a three time Doom champion, yeah. which definitely exists. Can you come in and teach a couple of people? how to become a Doom Slayer, and but, I was like, you know I can. But what type of thing do you mean by teaching someone to Doom Slayer? Surely it's just a point and shoot affair. Well, yeah, yeah, you teach them the game, but also there's the physical side of things. You've got to right. be a Doom Slayer, you've got to be in physical condition, oh. so you know, there's a lot of press-ups, a lot of sit-ups, a lot oh. of burpees, oh. all those kind of stuff. Wait, Wait, you're going to be doing that with real people on the stage with, today? With, well, yes, with real people <laughs> Not that come out of wombs all over the world, we are going to oh. do this, yeah, yeah. Dude, but, that, that sounds like a lot of work for me, man. Like, I mean, I, I, I respect your physique, I think it's fantastic, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a half a toothpick at best. So why don't we do this so that I can get buff, but I'll do it through my avatar, which is going to be Rich Hudson, who is actually a huge fan of Doom. Have you met Rich before? Okay, yeah. Hey, Rich, how you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. So you want to be a Doom Slayer as well, right? Yeah, yeah. How totally. much you want to be a Doom Slayer? A lot. Because right now you're showing me nothing, pal. Oh. You're showing me absolutely nothing. Oh. Get down. Press ups. Go. Go. Ten. Oh, Ten. oh Ten. wow. One. Three. One. Come oh. on, get back here. Top says one. That's two. Oh. That's three. I'll help you. Oh Four. my goodness. Extra weight. Come He's on, so extra nice weight. in person. I thought that's what we're doing. This pal. is very out of character. That's what we're doing, son. Oh, right. Okay. Well, there you go. That's Doom Slaying right there. So, do, do you feel a bit better? Absolutely. See? Yeah, See? good. <laughs> Bless him. I think you've broken my work. No, I didn't break him. I've taught him a valuable lesson in Doom. Right, okay. Now, thank You're you very, very welcome. Thank you very much, Rich, for that. I really appreciate you taking the time. But let's talk about Doom Eternal while I've got you here, because obviously you're here to help sort of like spread awareness of the game as well. So, what are just people... act like an idiot on a stage, but both work. So, <laughs> so what are people going to be getting their hands on today? Uh, right. So I played it because I said I'd like to play it beforehand, obviously. So, you know, when I know what other people are doing too, also yep. just be more familiar with the game. And it's around about a 20, 25 minute demo. Right, you okay. get the tutorial and there's a lot of new stuff in this game. Like, I love Doom 2016, I really do. Yep. I think it's one of the reasons that Bethesda reached out to me because when that game came out, I was predominantly doing video game reviews. Yes. And I gave it a nine out of 10. I didn't even write any words. My <laughs> review was a gif of me glory killing someone and then just staring at the camera and giving it the thumbs up. That must be the easiest work day ever. Well, it was, but I think they understood what I was yeah. getting at, right? What yeah. do you want me to say here? There's, yeah. It's a ridiculous game in the best possible way. But now you can kind of, like, you can climb walls. Yep. There's double jumping. Like, yep. There's a lot more platforming sections in it now. And while you, look, at first you're like, okay, that's a nice quaint way to make it feel like a sequel. But as I found out, they really have tied that right into the gameplay. There are okay. sections that are, I don't want to call them Mario-esque, but they will kick your ass in the same way that a tradition. I'm not saying they're as genius as that, but there's certainly an inspiration from it. I'm enjoying the fact that there is a kind of like a Mario in Hell vibe is, is the best way to sell this. Because there is actually a lot more of an arcade vibe that goes from that. There's a lot more sort of pickups and power-ups this time around. Yes. There's a lot more neon-infused things. Playing it yourself, is it as exhilarating as the first game? Because I think that a lot of people really appreciated that Doom was kind of like a sugar rush, but covered in blood. It is like that. Mm. It's still very immediate and visceral, <laughs> as it will probably say on the back of the box. But what they tried to do is they tried to make it a bit smarter, I would say. Right. So I can't remember the maths now, but it's like if you do a glory kill, the power-ups will give you more health. Yes. Whereas if you use a new flamethrower, that will give you ammo. I mean, that's not 100% accurate, nah, but yeah. there, there is an equation in there. Yeah. So if you're low on health, you know you need to do this kill. And if you're low on ammo, this kill. If you oh. want to shield that kill. So while you can just run around like a brute, yeah. You have to kind of be quite intellectual with it as well. But I think for a sequel, that's what you want to do. You want to build oh, it up yeah. a little bit. And it doesn't take away from the fact that you can still play it. I said it back at the time. You can play it like a rhythm action game, right? Yeah. So shoot, glory, kill, move on. Shoot, glory, kill, move on. And that, shoot, yeah, glory, kill, move you do on. have to use the other elements, which does kind of change the rhythm. Yeah. But all I know, when I was done with this demo, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, Doom is really good. And I can't wait to play it. Well, you were saying just before we started that there was a bit at the end of this demo that you features a boss. And that apparently took you nearly an hour to get through. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be this hard. You outside were, of the difficulty. Well, you'll then. have to let me know what you think after. You're going to play it in a yes, second. Yes, I am indeed. There's a bit at the end of this demo, which you will have played. It's, it's you know, public here at EGX. Yeah. And I just can't get over it. Like, you're being chased by whatever the hell it is, some monster from hell. 
And you have all art, it's just, it is incredibly hard. And I was playing it on normal. And don't get me wrong, I'm an advocate of easy. If it's in the game, why can't you choose it? That's right. Yeah. I said it. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. But at the same time, I can't even imagine what the challenge would be if you knock this up to hard. Oh, so it is going to blow some people's minds, I feel. Well, in the original game, there was that difficulty where if you died, it was permadeath. I so know. I'm assuming that's going to come back in full I, force. I would guess so. Oh, and, and with that game without checkpoints? No thanks, man. That I'm out. I ain't doing that. But you are going to be training people to become Doom Slayers here right. at EGX. You're damn right. And do you think that there's any hopefuls amongst the What Culture no. crew? Oh, no. thanks, dude. Thanks. Oh, no, wow. I didn't get to say here. Wow. No, Not just in the What Culture crew, ever, anywhere. <laughs> this. There's nobody, and that's because there is only one Doom Slayer. Yeah. See, see how I work that back round. Yeah, you're you good thought, at doing that. You, you thought I was knocking you down. Instead, I was just placing you with a bunch of other people. It's different. It's I'm different. just down with the other scum. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm fine. with you too. I'm with you too. So you heard it here first. You are scum, Simon Miller, 2019. And I'm scum too. We're all scum. I like that. Good, good. To, look, dude. Try and get him on camera. There's a guy walking around here as the Doom Slayer. Is there actually? And he's six foot nine. What? He's six foot nine. That's a Doom Slayer. Cheapers. Right, okay. Well, we'll look out for that and also check out EGX coverage here on What Culture Gaming because we will be bringing you Doom Eternal tomorrow when we get our chance to play it and put our video up live. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you, I man. really do feel like we have become better, stronger, maybe not over that side where Rich is standing. Still looks we, a bit he's, upset. he's wheezing and crying. I, that's, that's I, know, not, I feel that's, bad. I yeah. feel bad. But I also feel like I've taught my life lesson. Which is? Press-ups are good. Thank you very much.